absolute mad lads only gone and done it. You just witnessed the biggest political earthquake in Europe since Brexit. Gert Wilder's right-wing populist party not only won the election, they crushed it. Establishment lackeys reacted with a collective gasp of shock and disbelief. <laughs> Now watch how lefties cheered the result of their own candidate. <laughs> Before hearing that Wilder's party had completely trounced them. Seven seats won, completely demolishing polls held only days before, saying it would be a four-way dead heat. That it would be that huge was indeed also surprising uh, for me, but uh, but 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 a very uh, pleasant uh, result, of course. Who is Gert Wilders, and why does the political establishment and the left despise him so much? His victory speech pretty much tells you all you need to know. The kiezer heeft vanavond gesproken. The kiezer heeft gezegd, we zijn het zat. We zijn het spuugzat en wij willen. En daar gaan wij voor zorgen dat die Nederlander weer op één komt te staan. Netherlands first. Where have I heard that before? Die Nederlander die heeft ook hoop. En de hoop van Nederland is dat de mensen hun land terugkrijgen. Dat de mensen ervoor zorgen, dat wij ervoor gaan zorgen dat Nederland weer for the Netherlands, that the asyl tsunami and the immigration, that they will be beperked. Based. Between October 7 and November 22nd alone, electoral support for Gert Wilders surged from 12% to 23%. Gee, I wonder what could have caused that. I wonder if his victory had anything to do with Dutch people, not even being in the top 20 nationalities when it comes to crimes committed in the Netherlands. I wonder if his victory is the greatest rejection yet of the mantra that diversity is our greatest strength. Moroccans are overrepresented. Um Enormously in the Dutch crime statistics. More than 60% of the Moroccan youth under the age of 23 has been arrested by the Dutch police. And they are in general, when it comes to violent street crimes, 20 times off, more often been arrested on many crimes. The man once banned from entering the UK for telling the truth about mass migration should should be about to become the prime minister of his country. The man they once put on trial for saying this. I ask you, where are you? in deze stad en in Nederland. Meer of minder Marokkanen? Dan gaan we dat regelen. Has now been given a people's mandate to enact his policies. Well, should it really be that much of a surprise? A 390,000 home shortage in the Netherlands, while they just imported 403,000 migrants in a single year. The highest level of immigration in modern times. That's why they voted for Gert Wilders. Wilders has called on the Netherlands to retract recent apologies for the slave trade, end weapon shipments to Ukraine, and launch an exit referendum on leaving the EU while committing to zero asylum seekers. Uh, hello, base department. Now it could finally be Nexit time. The threats to our freedom are the European Union. If we want to be liberated. If we want to uh, be a sovereign country again, we need to get rid of this institution. <laughs> Behold an ad where I'm not trying to sell you something or asking for money. I promise. All I want you to do is check out our brand new website, modernity.news. <laughs> Bosh! Modernity.news is where you'll find all the latest breaking clown world content. Not just reposts of the videos you get here, but exclusive articles too. We know all too well by now that we're in a constant battle against mass censorship. So by bookmarking Modernity.news and visiting every day, we'll never lose touch. And please, if I can ask you for just one thing, it's to sign up for our free newsletter on the website. No spam, no nonsense, just the quality content that you deserve. And that's it. See, I didn't try to flog you anything. Please click the link in the description and bookmark modernity.news. That's where it's at. Now let's hit that Bosch again.
Millet wins in Argentina, Gert wins in Netherlands, AFD polling at 25%, Le Pen leading in the polls, Farage going to win, I'm a celebrity. We're so back. <laughs> if only we had political parties with balls like the PVV in the United Kingdom. Sorry, Anon, you don't have a major right-wing anti-immigrant party winning elections in your country. I, I don't think it can work out between us. We're from two different worlds. Sophisticated Europeans. And let's not overlook the other massive factor that led to Wilder's victory. The massive former protest movement that led to the collapse of the previous centrist government. The revolt against the technocratic world order that tried to impose climate change regulations on nitrogen emissions. It would have led to the complete shutdown of thousands upon thousands of farms. The victory is theirs as much as Wilders. Fascinating how Argentina and Holland don't allow mail-in ballots. <laughs> Now EU technocrat Franz Timmermans, who came a distant second with 25 seats, is lecturing Wilders about democracy. Timmermans seemed to rule out a coalition saying, now is the time for us to defend democracy. Right, so the dude who lost is saying the dude who got most votes shouldn't be allowed to form a government because it's a threat to... Checks notes. Democracy. What? You're the one trashing democracy by refusing to accept the will of the Dutch people. Only a right-wing candidate can absolutely dominate a free and fair election, get a plurality of votes, and then be called anti-democratic. Gert Wilder's being allowed to win an election simply because he had more votes is a clear threat to democracy. The Dutch Donald Trump Gert Wilders has won the election to be the next Prime Minister of the Netherlands. What a sad day for democracy in Argentina and now the Netherlands. What a sad day for democracy when people I don't like win elections. <laughs> you see, for the right wing, but only for the right wing. Winning elections in a relative landslide doesn't automatically give you a ticket to govern. Oh, no, 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 no. They can't allow that kind of democracy. Democracy only applies, you see, when they win. Now Wilders has to form a coalition with a bunch of parties, almost all of which said they'll refuse to enter into a coalition with him. Imagine that, you get a plurality of the population voting for your party, expressing a direct definitive approval for you to go ahead and implement your policies. Then you don't even get to form a coalition government if the other establishment parties gang up up against you. In the interests of democracy, you understand. He swept the biggest proportion of seats in over two decades. And they're still trying to block him from being in government while calling him anti-democratic. Dylan Yeselgoos of the governing VVD party said she would refuse to serve in a Wilders-led cabinet. At the Hague headquarters of Miss Yeselgoos' VVD, supporters had been preparing to raise their glasses at the prospect of the Netherlands' first female prime minister. Really, how did that one work out for you? <laughs> but the Dutch Trump saviour could come in the form of M. MP Peter Omtzigt, whose new social contract party came fourth. Mr Omtzigt said initially his new social contract party would not work with Mr Wilders, but now says they are available to turn this trust of voters into action. If Wilders had the NSC on board, he would need to find 19 other seats from other coalition partners to hit the 76 majority required to form a coalition government. Now let's just appreciate for a second what Wilders has been labouring against for over two decades. Because of what he said about diversity being such a strength, he has to live in a government-provided safe house, which includes a bulletproof panic room, while being constantly protected 24-7 by a phalanx of bodyguards from the military police. Because diversity is such a strength, you understand. Telling the truth really is a dangerous business these days. A fact experienced firsthand by Thierry Bourdais, another right-wing populist who was viciously assaulted twice in public in the last month alone. Just as Brexit in 2016 was a harbinger for Trump's victory, does Wilder's success in the Netherlands now indicate that Trump 2024 is in the ascendancy. It really does feel like we're back. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news. <laughs> Oh